Alright guys, welcome back. Um, as you might be able to tell, I am now level 8 and I also have full health. How did that happen? Well basically I, I went and did the fight and I died so I cut that part out. And I went and power trained my character up a little bit. Um, and basically when you're power training what you want to do is you want to keep out your, your clovers. Cause, and anything that increases your drop rate. And you're going to get some really sweet items. I've got some items here. I'm going to show you what I have. Um, I have that one. The uh, Knight's Emblem. Uh, Life Globe. Increases my health by 200. And this item is really good because what it does, it uh, increases the drop rate by three times. And it also increases the effect of the item that you pick up, which is really useful. Um, this prevents you from getting hit by critical... Cri it, evades critical damage um, and this one is extremely useful because it turns blue potions into health potions also so uh, yeah that's very good to have on me and yeah that's pretty much what I have and uh, it, it, by level 7 if your character is about level 7 you should be well equipped to this level I'm having no problem at this point I'm just burning through these guys and you can kill mages in just a few, a few simple hits, so it's not too bad. So the mages are really what fucked me over on the final battle. Because he, he's, he's surrounded by like five or six of them, and they were just taking me out, and there's no health at all, so you gotta watch out. I, I didn't. There might have been some health there, but I didn't have enough time to look for it. It's much more difficult than the uh, the original original fight, which was pretty tough in itself. If you're not ready for it, increase keeping your drop rate, uh, your uh, item drop rate up is a good idea too, because you'll uh, you get a lot more health potion drops, which are going to help you a lot. And I'm also saving my blue special attack for the final fight. So I have a hunch that it'll probably make the fight pretty damn fast. Oh fuck. Never mind. I'm not saving it. I thought it was going to use a red card. Never mind. We're just going to have to fight him. <laughs> that was a dumbass moment. I didn't think it would actually do that. thought it was just going to use the red one. Oh well. It's not like it really matters. We're going we're gonna to take him out really quick. I don't think there's going to be too much trouble here. But yeah, if you're not at least level 7, unless you're looking for a serious challenge, I wouldn't try. Wouldn't try this, because it's, it's rough. Alright, these guys. Let's take these guys out first. Serious pain in my ass. Mages. And that's not even the ones that are surrounding him. There's a bunch more up top. Is that all of them? Yep, that was all of them. But we have a bunch of uh, archers and shit to help us out in this fight, so it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, he's gonna be right over here. There he is. Now what I want to do is try to take out the mages before I have to fight him. So, uh, get our guys up on the, up on him here. Go away from me. Yes, attack, attack her. Not me, attack her. Gonna deal with the ma with the mages first before I bother with him. Did we get them all? I think we got them all. All right. My critical strike is pretty high now, so he has a hard time evading my attacks. Although he can still hit pretty damn hard, so gotta watch out. 
and there is no help up here as far as I can tell. I haven't seen any. So I just fight him the same way we fought him with him, so you just kind of watch out for him, and then go at him when you get a chance, when he's not, when he's not coming after you. Yeah, we're hitting him really hard. He's not gonna last long. I assume this is the last fight. Watch out. Got him. Is a Very nice. WTF?